The pathologic hallmarks of rheumatoid arthritis include inflammation of the joints, particularly the small joints in the hands, wrists, and feet, accompanied by cartilage destruction and bone erosion. Underlying inflammation leads to many of the characteristic signs and symptoms of RA, such as pain and swelling of the joints. Inflammation results from abnormal propagation and activation of many types of immune cells, resulting in the secretion of cytokines and other mediators that sustain and amplify the inflammatory environment. As a key pro-inflammatory cytokine, TNF-alpha, along with other cytokines, activate immune cells, including macrophages, as well as other cells, such as synovial fibroblasts. In a key step, activated macrophages and synovial fibroblasts release pro-inflammatory cytokines, including TNF-alpha, IL-1 and IL-6, and mediators of vascular growth, including VEGF. VEGF is essential to the process of blood vessel proliferation, or angiogenesis, which facilitates an influx of activated cells. These cells contribute to the growth of panis and sustain the inflammatory cycle. The growing, vascularized panis develops villus projections that result in better access to the cartilage and bone and therefore greater opportunity for the activated cells to release damaging inflammatory mediators and enzymes. In the interface between panis and cartilage, Activated synovial fibroblasts and macrophages are a source of enzymes that degrade the cartilage matrix. These include MMPs or matrix metalloproteinases. Thus, activated cells in panis are key instigators of cartilage destruction. Chondrocytes are the main cellular component of cartilage and normally produce the extracellular matrix. However, in response to stimulation by TNF-alpha, IL-1, and other inflammatory mediators, chondrocytes become activated in the rheumatoid joint. Activated chondrocytes secrete more inflammatory factors and more metalloproteinases, MMPs, which aggravates inflammation and cartilage damage. The cumulative result is irreversible cartilage damage and joint space narrowing. Under normal conditions, bone remodeling involves a tightly regulated balance between bone resorption and bone formation. However, excessive TNF-alpha helps stimulate osteoclastogenesis and bone destruction. In the marrow, TNF-alpha helps stimulate monocyte differentiation into osteoclast precursors. At inflamed joints, in the presence of macrophage colony stimulating factor TNF-alpha and rank ligand, Osteoclast precursors differentiate into mature osteoclasts, resulting in bone resorption. Thus, the direct and indirect effects of the TNF-alpha on osteoclast maturation and activation culminate in focal bone erosions and irreversible joint damage. As we have seen, TNF-alpha plays a key role in the complex pathology of RA.